So, uh, you know, after thrust pump next, uh, cross kick, it's the same as right heel kick. So uh, here, I only have one point you need to take in here is uh, after you are picking up your right leg, you, because the right leg in this position, you very easy, you know, knee direction is keep in that direction, but actually it's not. When you're picking up, actually your knee direction need to be straight. Okay, how we open arms when we're doing kick? Yeah. Uh, that's right. How we rotate arms? Yeah, uh, that's uh, <laughs> you already in. You cannot in again, right? <laughs> okay. So, uh, Han said probably is better. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you go slightly up circle and uh, gradually rotate. This is what we want. Okay, <laughs> from in to out, from in to in. How you can go that? Okay. So uh, this is about the arm rotate. I want you to include a little up circle, okay? And uh, uh, all kicks, I want you, you know, front arm, front leg are in one line. And all kicks, I want your palm sitting, okay? Sometimes, you know, I saw some people when you do the kick, you know, palm is uh, not sitting. So here, actually, when we are rotating, you know, I want your palm is standing. And uh, what is arm range? Ah, that's right. Okay, so this is about the arm, how we do the kick. So from here, when you turn, when you shift way back, or is it already closing arm continuously, or do you shift back and then move? Uh, when you start shift weight back, the, you the start, ah, that's right. So from the time you here, arms not change. Yes. Here, arms start to change. Here, you're going to kick and bend. Okay, so this is. So, um, so as you go around, is this arm circling? Is it doing? Well, uh, no. don't, not too much. Okay. Yeah, if too much, then it's, uh, uh, you know, circle going to be too big. Basically, I would like you to do from here, you know, you just shift with that. Oh, okay. So if you do too much, the waist, going to turn too much. You have to concentrate your body direction. Uh, here, you're already facing this corner direction, mm -hmm. right? But not, you know, do more turning in there. Okay. Thank you. Uh, punching to the growing, we also talked a little bit about this movement, right? So how we circle, I want you to use arm, uh, you know, uh, uh, this body turning to do the circle. And when you close, you don't have to close too much. You know, kind of open. Follow this diagonal position, you open like this, will be enough. Not necessary for you to bend in too much. Okay, and when you're punching out, also, this time, because you punch to the growing, I want you more, you know, horizontal, kind of level the punch, which is, Arm need sitting a little bit. Don't just sit in your face, okay? So sitting face, that's not the punching method. So arm bending a little bit to give <laughs> punching out, feeling. So this is about how we do the punch. Uh, go to the, uh, you know, step forward, grasper's tail. This time, how you do it, because the connection movement before we did from parabolic and punch, it's a high. This time, it's a low. So how we uh, do this connection, you just bring your arms up a little bit when you shift with back. Before, when we shift with back, your arms not change. This time, coming up a little bit. But compared with the parabolic and punch, still it's kind of low. Then you know from here, you can go more up to do this lifting. Okay, then you know everything is the same as before. So when you do that, this left wall off, Yes, you're focusing on the left arm. So from here, uh, you know, move back weight, kind of looking forward, and now you are focusing on the left. 
and the rotate arms change to the straight word of right. Okay. So concentrate on left. When left finish the grab, change to the right. Okay. Uh, then single whip, everything is repeat. Okay, so if we have no more question, we can practice this section.